Various scientific institutions, public authorities and organizations deal with impacts of climate change in the Baltic Sea region. But how is the Baltic affected by climate change? To be prepared, which questions have to be answered by scientists? Of course, the Baltic region is uh, affected by climate change in different ways. We have the sea level rise, we have temperature increase and changes in uh, precipitation pattern. Very important is that climate change is an ongoing process, so we have it at the moment. And it means that all management has to be future-oriented, has to have a look. Uh, are these measures we are taking now and implementing now are really uh, suitable for a future climate as well? The river basins are facing changing precipitation, different temperature. This will affect the land use and the loads of rivers. So the beautification of the Baltic Sea will change. How will the river Rhine nutrient loads change in future, the discharge of the river, and what does this mean for the ecosystem of the Baltic Sea, for future algae blooms? Then we have direct effects on the Baltic Sea ecosystem, like temperature directly altering the biology. The third aspect is possibly a changing a situation in the exchange between North Sea and Baltic Sea. This might change salinity pattern and this is an important issue for biology. Another issue is the hygienic uh, water quality aspect. So will there be new uh, human pathogenic organisms entering the Baltic Sea in future with the risk of diseases increase in future? The ice cover in the Baltic Sea is in winter reduced. We see that seaside resorts in the northern part of the Baltic become more and more attractive for uh, tourists. So besides risks, we have a lot of opportunities. The solutions and the implementation of measures take place on a local and regional level. And the approaches are more or less similar all over the world. So we can learn from experiences of others, and others can learn from our experiences. For this purpose, the Leibniz Institute for Baltic Sea Research organized a summer school in September 2010. Cooperation partners were the Alfred Wegener Institute for Polar and Marine Research, the Helmholtz Zentrum Geestacht, Center for Materials and Coastal Research, EUCC, the Coastal Union Germany, and Gesellschaft zur Förderung des Helmholtz Zentrums Geestacht. 20 participants from all over the world were invited to Warnemünde at the Baltic Sea to learn more about the consequences of climate change. The students and young scientists came with different expectations. I'm glad uh, that I'm here and to uh, have opportunity to uh, meet uh, people from uh, another part of the world. I hope I will learn uh, more about the effects of climate change. I still miss more information on coastal protection and the marine ecosystem. That's why I'm here. Besides lectures, the participants gained a deeper insight into different challenges for coastal and marine adaptation. They learned in role plays to understand perceptions and reservations of local stakeholders, for example when a dike must be raised. A group discussion finally led to a consensus for a sustainable, future-oriented management. Visits of different labs of the Institute were part of the two-week program, as well as practical work with computer simulations and model scenarios. Social and sport events took place, such as frisbee, volleyball, coop and golf. At a one-day excursion, the participants learned about how the coast is affected by sea level rise and storm events. Practitioners of the University of Rostock and the State Agency for Agriculture and Environment showed local examples for coastal erosion and accumulation of sediment, and how coastal protection looks like in Mecklenburg-Western Pomerania. One central theme of the summer school was the preparation of film sequences in the field of climate change. After a short technical introduction, the participants chose one of the following topics. Coastal protection, tourism or fisheries and nature protection. 
Before starting to make a movie, they worked together in groups on a joint concept and practiced their recording. The introductory question was, what is the first thing that comes into your mind when you think about climate change? The first thing I think about climate change is uh, adaptation or environmental refugees. To move uh, holidays to Baltic Sea? Well, I think about people that need to adapt to the change in climate. The more frequent flooding and the people uh, have to change their habits of, uh, and places of living. The more occurrences of floods, the more occurrences of droughts, and the ultimate consequences that might bring into food production and hunger. Just do something against it, never only wait. Climate change brings life change, and the most changes is negative, so how people adapt with the new life. I think I will need more sun cream. We have caused this problem, and so we must act now to sort it. I think we have to um, do more in mitigation so that the consequences won't be so worse. Its possible ecological impact in the marine environment, also considering its impact in uh, agricultural practice back home in my country. So I think about a real global problem that concerns us all. So I think we need to all act together and sooner rather than later. To act now, act wisely. Climate change is a result of market failure. So I think we should need to change the system. I think simply more research has to be done about this topic. There must be a much more better adaptation of course the protection structures. It is the biggest challenge that humanity is facing and that we can all, each one of us can make a difference. I think of more extreme events in the future and we have to adapt to this by working together. We are the worst contributors of the climate change and it's either we act or the climate changes our life for the worst. Costa protection. Young scientists had the possibility to create networks to exchange each other and to get into contact with lecturers who are experts in the field of climate change, and they could establish links and uh, get contacts. It was a wonderful opportunity for me to come here and join so many international students here and learn together how, how can we can do, how we scientifically deal with uh, climate change adaptation. It's bringing new, new knowledge that I didn't, previ didn't have previously, uh, especially in, the, in this area of coastal protection. It's something interesting. Uh, that uh, definitely drives my attention, my attention and is something that I think it could be implemented in my country. The past two weeks of the summer school has been really wonderful for me as a person because I learned a lot about the Baltic Sea and about the regions all over the world. Again, meeting 14 different people from different countries gave me the opportunity to learn more about their culture and their way of living. In all, I will say that this is an experience I will never forget because it has had a positive impact on my life. The biggest thing that struck me has been the big diversity of backgrounds that we've had here. We've had climate change from um, environmental management to sea level change to ecological systems to the um, marine ecosystems. So I think the biggest thing is that, that we've all brought so many diverse backgrounds into one area and we've learnt from each other. And um, one other thing that I've also really found like really useful is that I found that I've learned about the Baltic Sea. I mean, it's something that I didn't know before, and I now know about the evolution of it, the salinity, and it's just its surrounding area. Um, all in all, I think we've all of us have gained a good grounding of summer um, of climate change, and I think we can, we can all learn from each other, and we've. The, the biggest thing and the most important is we've got the contacts. We've got links from the colleagues, we've got links from staff, and we've got links for future research projects that hopefully we might be able to take part in. Um, so I think on behalf of everyone else, I'd like to say thank you for uh, such a good summer school, and I know that everyone's really enjoyed it. So, goodbye. <laughs>